Developers look like this. They are your mate to the hair colors, toners, bleaches, lighteners. This hair color is not going to work without developer. Think of it as a needy boyfriend who can't do anything by themselves. If I have hair color, bleach, lightener, toner, I have to have my needy boyfriend with me or it's just not gonna work. Developers come in cream and liquid. This is what the cream looks like. This is the clear developer. They're exactly the same. The only difference is the consistency. The cream is more for the bowl and the brush application and the clear or liquid is for a bottle application. In the US, we measure developer by volumes. 10, 20, 30, 40. There is a 50, but we don't need that. In other countries like the UK, for example, they'll use a percentage. So it will say 3%, which really means 10 volume for us in the United States. The numbers or percentages like this just represent how much hydrogen peroxide is inside the bottle, which will then determine the strength. For example, a 10 volume or a 3% will achieve a minimal lift, very mild, compared to a 40 volume or 12%, which is maximum amount of lift. So because 10 volume has the least amount of hydrogen peroxide, it is the mildest. 40 is the strongest. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend using 40 volume at home at all. And very rarely in the salon would I personally use it. For lighteners or bleach, you can use 10, 20, 30, or 40 volume. You can use any of these with your lightener. Remember, your bleach needs, the clingy boyfriend, boyfriend needs the developer to work. So all you need to do is decide, do I want 10, 20, 30, or 40 volume? When bleaching, low and slow really is the best motto to use. 10 or 20 volume is what I would recommend, especially if you're doing an on the scalp application, I would not exceed 20 volume. It's really tempting to want to just mix bleach with 40 volume and slap it all over your hair so you can get really quick results. We tend to think that because it's the highest number, the highest amount of chemicals, it's gonna work the fastest and it's gonna work the best. It is going to work the fastest. You're going to get maximum levels of lift, but the results are going to be not so great in most cases. You could have very fried hair, breakage. Have you ever seen, um, oh, I'm losing it, spaghetti hair? noodly hair where you brush it and it's just and it's melted. Bleaching is really similar to cooking a brisket. You ever done that before, cooking a brisket? It has to be low and slow in the smoker for best results. If you try to hurry up and cook the brisket in under an hour, the meat's gonna be rubbery, it's going to be tough, it's going to be dry. So think of your hair as a brisket. It's better to keep your hair healthy and take more time versus slapping 40 volume on there, rushing the brisket and having damaged fried hair. What's that saying? Good, fast, and cheap, but you can only have two. So you can have something good and fast, but it won't be cheap, like going to the salon and spending $400. Or it can be good and cheap, but it won't be fast. Doing that at home in our bathroom. Again, it's better just to do it low and slow. 10 or 20 volume when you're talking about bleaching. Now, when we're talking about mixing developers with tubes of color, again, the color needs the developer, the needy boyfriend. 10 volume is used to blend gray. Let's say that again, blend gray. It's not covering gray. This is for the salt and pepper effect, great for men. It's going to blend the gray together. So when you take the tube of hair color with the 10 volume, put it on there and you have gray hair, you will still have gray hair, it will just be blended. 10 volume is also for you if you're going darker. So if I wanted to take my blonde hair and make it a dark brown, 10 volume is the option for me. 10 volume is also used when you're doing a color refresh. So if I wanted to just refresh my roots here, this dark root, I could use 10 volume developer with my hair color. Also 10 volume is going to be used for most toners when you're canceling out unwanted tones, yellows and orange after bleaching. 20 volume is going to be used to cover grays. If you have gray hair and you want to completely conceal that, 20 volume is the choice for you. It has a little bit more hydrogen, per hydrogen peroxide than the 10 volume, so it's gonna kind of open up the hair shaft, allow that color to penetrate through. If you have gray hair, as you know, it can be very unpredictable. It's corkscrewy, it's thick, it's curly sometimes, wiry, it's like a cat whisker. You gotta really open that up to get the hair color in there. 20 volume will give you up to two levels of lift when you're using a high lift color or if you're coloring on virgin hair. Never been colored before. Very rare to see these days. 30 volume is up to three levels of lift. When we're talking about high lift colors are coloring on virgin hair. High lift colors are basically a bleach alternative. They lift your hair and deposit a tone at the same time. It's a little bit milder than using an 
actual bleach and you can kind of skip the toning part in most cases. 30 volume for actual hair color though is very rarely used. Sometimes I'll use it when I'm depositing red. I'll do 20 or 30 volume if it's a red color just to make sure it really gets in the hair shaft. But as far as going darker or covering gray, it's not really used that much. 40 volume will give you up to four levels of lift with high lift hair color. In fact, I think most high lift colors will recommend that you use 40. I'm not sure, I'll have to double check on that. I don't typically use high lift colors a lot. I like to just use bleach or lightener and then pick a toner and deposit it on there. But high lift colors look like hair color they come in a hair color tube. The only difference is I believe it's a one to two ratio, which we'll get into in the next video on how to actually mix these. But normal hair color is a one to one ratio. So if I have an ounce of hair color, I have an ounce of developer. Most high lift colors are an ounce of high lift color to two ounces of developer, and it's a very high strength, 30 and 40 volume. All right, so a little recap, 10, 20, 30, volume. Those are your choices. Can be liquid or can be in cream form. Cream is the most common. The numbers just represent the strength. So 10 is the weakest. 40 is stage four clinger. It is the strongest. Low and slow when you're bleaching. Remember the brisket. For hair color, 10 volume, deposit only, going darker, blending grays. 20 volume, completely covering grays. 30 and 40 are going to be for your high lift colors, offering three to four and beyond levels of lift. I hope this helped break down what these numbers mean. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them below and subscribe, turn on your notifications. I'm going to post on here every single week. I haven't figured out a date yet that works or day on my main channel I'm there every Sunday it's an entertainment channel so you can check that out if you're if you need a laugh here will just be strictly hair content so if you have any questions this is gonna be the best place to leave them and I can help you figure it out or make a video explaining it